After DeMar Hamlin's collapse during Monday Night Football, there's a renewed focus on heart screenings for young athletes. But a Minnesota family who lost their son to the same issue in 2015 is already working to prevent similar tragedies. WCCO's Alan Henry talks with the family and athletes about the impact of playing for Patrick. It's five minutes that could save you your whole life. Bailey McCudden went through her first Play for Patrick heart screen in 2018. She texts me from across the room and she says, Mom, my sheet says abnormal on the top. My sheet looks different than the girl next to me. The nurse that we spoke with said, well, I don't, you don't need to take her to the ER today, but she needs to be seen on Monday. Doctors discovered she had a rare genetic heart defect and became one of the hundreds of Minnesota teens helped by the Patrick Schoonover Heart Foundation. In 2014, Patrick died after scoring the first goal of a hockey game and suffering sudden cardiac arrest. Patrick would have benefited if he was had the ability to get a, uh, an echocardiogram, which would have shown the defects in his heart. Since his death, Patrick's family, through his foundation, have provided nearly 30 heart screens for young athletes. There's no shots, there's no poking. This is just information. Information that even a lot of adults wouldn't get. This is, this is such a privilege to be able to get that the Schoonovers have put out to the community. I'm so impressed and proud of the way that they've been able to turn in such a tragic event into something so important. While the Schoonovers say nothing will ever take away the pain of losing Patrick, they're proud of being able to turn it into a purpose. We have a choice. We could be bitter and feel sorry for ourselves or we could be better. And we really wanted to help. You know, if we find one, then we did our job, you know, we're, but we're finding many. You know, today's screen, we've, we've already had two significant finds of, of some heart defects that'll be uh, things that kids will have to keep an eye on. Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. Since 2015, Play for Patrick has discovered 255 teens with high blood pressure and 260 teens with electro, electrical or structural heart defects. Their next screening will take place on February 25th and will be open to the public.